are here in Columbus, Ohio at the Alum State Park and we're going to magnet fish here. We've never been here before. This place is huge. Very huge. Look at all that. Okay, I'm going to grab my gear. Okay, grab guys. That, guys. We're Columbus, the Alumni State Park. I've got Brutus up, ready to go. I'm ready to get my magnet wet. And uh, I'm going to throw her in off the dock. Off of AO6. See if we have anything down here. I can kind of see seaweed growing off the bottom of the dock here. Oh, cool. I didn't know we can walk out that way too. Let's pull this up. We always don't get everything on the first cast. We got some magnetic rocks. Let me bring my uh, what? Here it is. What's this called? I forgot. Putty knife. Yeah, my plastic putty knife. Okay. this along the bottom to see if we have anything attached to it. Okay, I'm gonna go further See, down this way. Out here, how beautiful it is. Where this is an inlet that comes into these boat docks in from the Ohio River into these boat docks here. And if you do a 360 around, you'll see how many boat docks there is. So we could literally fish a magnet fish here for probably four days and not even not even uh, do the same thing, not even the same docks. Uh, and if you look behind us, this is the little building where everything is. There's also campgrounds and everything here. So this is a pretty huge place to magnet fish. And the good thing is, guys, is that when it's off season, okay, as I was saying, guys, is this is, it looks like a beautiful place you know, to go camping and everything. But what I was trying, my point I was trying to make is when the peak season starts back up, you're usually not allowed to fish or magnet fish off these docks. But I got permission from the person who runs the place since this place hasn't started back up until April and it's March that we're allowed to magnet fish on all this property today. So yeah, and it's gonna be a lot of fun and hopefully we find something cool. Anyways, that's what I wanted to let you guys know. Okay, guys, it's the magnet fisher here. We have all kinds of uh, bolts, bottle caps, fishing hooks. So we've had a really good fun time today. And I caught this. It's underneath the boat dock. I don't know. It's still a part of it, but check this out. I'll latch on to it. Oh. 
Anyways, I think it's like attached somehow, but that's my biggest catch of the day, guys. Look, my magnet caught on to it and pulled it up. There it is. It took me about a half an hour, but I didn't give up. So, stretch it that way. Stretch it that way. Mm -hmm. Let's stretch this out. It easily stretches this way. <laughs> I thought it might come out from under the dock that way, but. No. Anyways, guys, it's been fun. Magnet fishing here in Columbus, Ohio. And the season hasn't even begun yet, but see some of the loot on the bottom here? You gotta love Corona. Corona cap. Anyways, if you like these videos, subscribe to my channel, smash the like button, comment in the comment section below. If you're wondering how you can get in on this fun sport of magnet fishing, I'll put the links in the box below. Until next time, you guys have fun. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is that time again. It is time for the catch of the day. This is what we brought out of the Columbus Alumni State Park. We have the screws and bolts up in here. You can see all these right here. That one has a washer on it. This right here was uh, fingernail clippers. You know, fishermen use them too. See, look, it even still is functional. Um, fishermen use them to cut fishing line with. We have some sort of sensor. I don't know if it came off a boat motor or a car. Here's a bigger bolt. Here's a cotter pin. Here's a bent screw. Here's a screw. There's a screw. These are two... I don't know what they are. There's just like, they're metal and I don't know. They're just kind of pointy. Anyways, we have a washer. We have a fishing hook. We have some big fishing hooks here. These things are big. I mean, look at that compared to my hand. I mean, what are they catching with those? <laughs> Anyways, then we have a, a huge sinker. We have a Miller Lite. The High Life Corona Extra. We have part to a lure, fishing lure, and we have two more screws and bolts. Anyways, that is the catch of the day.